on your left side. Kenyon, the rotation that you guys had and the lineup that you had on the on the line on Saturday, do you feel like that was the best that y'all have played so far? Do you feel like that's the best cohesiveness that the line's been able to have? Um, I believe so. I feel like uh, we came in um, ready to play, you know. Uh, coach was really just talking about uh, one play at a time, making sure we um, take care of our business on that play, um, just doing that throughout the game. I felt like we did that um, throughout the game and we came out with the victory. Let's go to Olin in the middle and then Sam. Uh, can you, why do you think y'all, uh, I'm just delving a little further, why do you think y'all are able to play so much better and did you see it coming? Um, well, yes, during practice, uh, we, um, we did a, a great job, you know, just making sure, uh, focus on the details, you know, hand placement. It was going to be a physical game, you know, the, the whole entire night. So that was our main focus throughout, throughout the week. And I feel like we've done that. We've done a great job throughout the week with that. And what was your, uh, evaluation of, of, uh, trainer who is it? And at guard, I guess, start for the first time at guard. Um, he did a great job. Um, came in, um, just ready to play. You know, I can see it in his eyes. He was focused. You know, mentally and physically prepared to play. He done a great job. To the left side to Sam Khan from the Athletic, and then Jennifer. Hey Kenyon, in the last seven games dating back to the bowl game, you've played every position up front in in the game. I'm curious, what kind of challenges or what kind of task has that been for you personally to to do? Um, really just going out there. I'm a team player, you know, wherever my team need me at, I'm going to go handle my business, make sure that, um, you know, I'm focused and I'm ready to play whatever position I need to play for us to get the win. From a technique standpoint, what's, when you go, for instance, from right guard to left tackle, like what are the biggest adjustments you have to make technique? Uh, just being more patient, you know, uh, things not hitting you so quick at, tackle than it was at guard. So just being more patient with your hands, hand placement, you know, a little bit different. So stay on the left side. We go to Jennifer from the bat. Hi, Kenyon. We've right. seen a lot on social media about missing helmets and jersey swaps. So my question for you is what's the equipment status like and do you guys have everything you need? Uh, I'm not too sure, um, but I hope we have everything. <laughs> All right, let's go right here in front to Brent from the Houston Chronicle. So do you have a favorite memory or part of that whole scene in the moments after the win? Uh, probably going to my family, like right after, like when we made the kick, went over there, hugged my family, told them I love them and everything. That was the main thing, yeah. Do you have any trouble finding them or getting nah, to them? Nah, I know exactly where they were. So I was dodging, you know, weaving through people to get to them. So out of all these positions you played, this year, do you have a favorite? Is there a preference that you would you would like to play if possible? Um, uh, not really. I mean, I'm just out there having fun, playing football, doing what I love to do. How do you go about having that kind of positive approach to playing different positions and and kind of learning each as you go as well? Well, I grew up just playing different positions, so you know, my dad taught me well how to you know, um, just to switch positions, knowing how to. Uh, Train yourself, um, different techniques, different things. Um, so, I mean, it's it been installed in me since I was little. Thank you. Let's go back behind the lights to Tyler from KBTX and then Mike. Kenyon, uh, three Aggies were named Conference Players of the Week with Calzada and, and Tyree Johnson and then they chain the special team. So, you know, one for each phase of the game. Uh, is Just how much of a testament is that to the complete game you guys played? And is this the most complete game that you've seen this team play in a while? Um, yes, we played a, a full, complete game. And doing that, that's just amazing. Um, seeing people, you know, get player of the week. Um, some players coming out their shell a little more, you know, getting more comfortable in the game. So uh, that's good. Um, you know, all we can do is just um, build on this and, you know, keep going, you know, finish the season, you know, uh, well, so I hope everything, you know, stay how it is, and um, we can keep dominating. We'll stay at TV row and we'll go to Mike from KX and then Justin from KX. 
Canyon, you obviously you guys put on obviously a tremendous performance against number one Alabama. Looking forward to Missouri, a team that's that's not ranked or regarded as highly. How do you guys avoid a letdown and, and not play down to your opponent? Uh, it comes with practice, you know, intensity and practice um, every day. So that's the main focus, um, keep the, keeping the intensity and um, the mindset we had all week for this week, you know, keeping that throughout the season and um, just making sure we keeping everybody accountable, you know, doing what we have to do, you know, to, to keep winning. Okay, Justin on your left side back, and then Travis. Hey, can you just talk about Zach a little bit and, and his medal? You know, obviously didn't play great and – Probably catching a lot of slack. I don't know if he's paying attention to it or not. But then to come out and do what he did against Alabama, what's that say about him? Uh, tough. You know, he haven't had the the best weeks um, prior to it. But I mean, he just keep working, especially in practice. Um, he's becoming a leader, and um, I'm loving it. Seeing him um, get more comfortable in this game play, and you can see that Saturday. You know, he felt more comfortable. Moving around the pocket, you know, making great throws, uh, just being a quarterback, just being a leader of the um, offense, and that's what we need from him. So he's doing a great job, and I'm proud of him. Down front, we got Travis from the Eagle. Hey, how much, uh, how much of the offensive success would you believe was minimizing penalties? Um, how much of a focus was that coming in this game, and what did y'all do to be able to be successful in that that part of the game? Well, um, just staying ahead of the sticks. Not, you know, negative plays, uh, making sure, you know, four or five yards, that's still a good run. That's still a good, you know, picking up yards, any yards, you know, was good. And um, it'll open up, and like it did, like we was patient, you know, took our time, you know, ran the ball, um, got people open. So that was the main thing, just staying ahead of the sticks. Got time for a couple more. We'll get a K from the bat, and then Sam. You mentioned earlier that some players are starting to break out of their shell. Um, who are some of those players that you've seen make that progress? Um, Zach, you know, um, the O-line, like as a unit, you know, we're breaking out our shell. Uh, just, you know, different players just – that's what that's what I really see because um, the O-line as a group, you know, we haven't been gelling as well. And um, I feel like this week really um, showed – what we brought, what we can bring to the table, and um, what we can do, and what we can build on. So I feel like we did a great job with that. And we'll finish up with Sam from the Athletic. Kenyon, on that on that note, you guys have had to play about six or seven different combinations up front over the last few weeks. I know last year you guys didn't have to shuffle quite that much. How much of a challenge is that? Just as linemen, as you feel each other's habits and tendencies, how much of a challenge is it to? have to adjust to different combinations over the course of a season? Well, it's not too difficult. It's just, you know, each player, you know, knowing what they need to do. Uh, it's not too much to it. You just got to, you know, lock in, focus in. You know, each player that's get – each player in their position need to, you know, just handle their business. And, I mean, that's the main thing. All right. That's what we've got. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you all. God bless.